Good morning, everyone. Hi, I am Michelle Cooper. I have a business called Alchemy Accounting. I am a money mindset coach. I am an expert in financial fortitude. And I am coming to you today live from Chilliwack, British Columbia. So I wanted to jump on here and see, oh, hey, Heather. Um, see, oh my God, Keely, yay. I wanted you guys to know some developments that happened with PayPal um, from Friday and over the weekend. So on Friday, um, hi Joy, on Friday, uh, PayPal were um, served with a court order from Canada Revenue Agency, um, forcing them to, to disclose all business account transactional information. So what does this mean, you may be asking? Well, this has some implications if you do business in PayPal. And I want you to be aware of that. Um, yeah, I am not a huge fan of doing business through PayPal. Yes, Angela, I'm going to move you out of PayPal. Um, hey, Joy. Oh, my God. You guys are so awesome. So here's what the deal is, right? In Canada, and I would... I think in the United States as well, I'm not sure about other countries, uh, the Internal Revenue Service or the Canadian version, which is CRA, have the ability to request transactional data from business bank accounts. And uh, they can do this quite easily. And this, this um, enable, you would be informed, but this enables them to verify data that you are a filing on your tax return. PayPal was different, right? PayPal isn't a bank, so they didn't have a way to get this information. But um, in Canada, CRA have applied to the High Court and been given an injunction to obtain that data. So what does this mean? This means that CRA will have information on all business account transactions now. So what does that mean for you? It means that if you did not report all of your revenue received through PayPal on your tax return, there will be a discrepancy and you may be asked to submit documentation. You may be triggered into an audit. It's, it, nothing may happen. It may be so minimal that nobody cares. It's just something for you to be aware of aware of. Now, I have been kind of harping on the anti doing business through PayPal bandwagon for about a year now. And so this um, kind of, uh, I felt like maybe I was given some kind of divine knowledge a year ago and started talking about it then. Um, and it's all kind of come to fruition. Um, yeah move away from PayPal in business. The other thing I want to share with you is I know from personal experience that your money is not secure in PayPal. Now everybody will say, oh, well, I just take my money out frequently. Your PayPal account can go into a negative balance at any time, and then you are liable for that debt. People who send you money can recall transactions at any time, and not everything is covered under PayPal's business insurance coverage. So this is not a secure place to do business. It's fine to have a PayPal account because you want to be able to buy something on Etsy, but this is not taking your business seriously. And that's what I want to talk to you about, really, is taking your business seriously, um, conducting it in integrity and authentically and having money flow to and from your business and from your life um, through the proper channels so that it can be recorded. Now, I'm not saying that people should pay unneeded tax. I would, I don't want you to pay more tax than you are due, but I do feel that we all um, should be paying tax on what is fair and what we have earned, and that contributes to the society that we live in right now. So 
the most tax advantageous system possible should be what you and your accountant are creating. The best strategy for tax, absolutely. Um, but that doesn't, in my opinion, include PayPal. So what is going to happen now, um, or what could happen, I should say, is that if you're, say on your tax return, you declared $10,000 in income and CRA get the records and they pull up your name and they, and your social insurance number and on, on PayPal, you've received a hundred thousand dollars. Well, you're going to go into an audit probably, right? They're going to call and say, Hey, what's the deal here? Right. Or they're going to write to you or whatever. So something to be aware of if you, um, have already, you know, you've already filed 2016, which hopefully you have, then there's not a lot you can do about it, but wait for some kind of response. Um, you could do some work to get your numbers together so that you understand them. 2017, I encourage you to get your records together. One thing that I see happen frequently with clients is that um, they don't have accurate revenue records and so if you were ever triggered into an audit or a review uh, if you don't have other records supporting a deposit or a income amount say your brother sent you two thousand dollars because he wanted to gift you that because he won the lottery if you don't have something supporting that that shows that it's not actually revenue then that would be considered revenue right so this is where you need a bookkeeper I can't stress this enough oh my god okay so get yourself a bookkeeper if you need one call me because like I can hook it hook you up with that uh, you need uh, if you're making a lot of money you need an accountant call me I can hook you up with that too but anyways um, yeah this is just information I just want you to be prepared I don't want anybody to be caught off guard and this kind of like to me is a backup of why you need somebody on your side on your team supporting you in this aspect of your business right I'm I am an expert in business money in business financials I am NOT a tax strategy expert although I have a little bit in my pocket on that but get people on your team that this is their thing this is what they breathe this is like their zone of genius they are worth their money in gold so if you need somebody on your side call me I could hook you up um, I have room for a few more clients if that's what needs to happen but regardless get your shit together people okay we're coming up to the end of the year all right so I just wanted to say that I hope you guys are good just check here see if anybody has questions um, yes Angela we need to talk uh, because you need to figure your stuff out and I would definitely move you away from PayPal um, uh, joy you've moved away from PayPal good move my friend but you have a CFO so of course you did and yeah I don't see any other questions so um, if you want to talk about this if you want advice I am more than happy to give you advice I am more than happy to talk about this with you you do not need to be working with me to get some some free information I will share it freely um, and yeah just educate yourself I can't stress enough and this is an aspect of your business that you need somebody on your side have a great day. I hope you guys are awesome and I will chat to you more. See you later.